In this video, I'm going to clarify a few things about the use of the colon in relation to the conjunction in quantum grammar. Now this is a little bit advanced video, so that if you don't have the basics of how you use a conjunction or how to use a colon in the correct sentence structure, uh, feel free to look through my YouTube channel for those closures because they're there available to the public in those videos. So here we have a correct sentence structure claim. For the claimant and witness of the knowledge and honor is with the claim and statement by the writ performance and conveyance. Backwards. For the writ performance and conveyance of the claim and statement is with the knowledge and honor by the claimant and witness. Now we're going to use the syntax values of 0, 5, 6, 7, and 2. So 0 is conjunction, 2 is verb, 5 is positional, 6 is lodial, 7 is fact. 5, 6, 7, 0, 7, 5, 6, 7, 0, 7, 2, 5, 6, 7, 0, 7, 5, 6, 7, 0, 7. The conjunction acts as a bridge between facts. The conjunction is neutral. It is not modified, and it does not modify. Therefore, if you look at any grouping of words, whether it's correct sentence structure or whether it's plain English fiction babble, if you see an and or an or, which are the only two conjunctions in the language, and, or, you can put a zero above them because they are a conjunction and they will always be a conjunction. They're just a bridge in the correct sentence structure between facts. Now some people like to put colons after them. For the claimant and witness. For the is the positional and lodial phrase that prepositions claimant and witness. So claimant and witness have been positioned as facts, 7-7, seven, seven, by the 5-6, for the. Some people like to put colons. So that now it would read, for the claimant and for the witness, which is correct. However, I like to simplify it and I just take that out because this has already been positioned by this because and does not affect the syntax. And it does not affect anything other than it's a neutral bridge between facts. To move on, the next phrase, of the knowledge and honor. These two facts have been positioned by of the. And is just a bridge tying them together. But some people like to put a colon here. That's fine. I have closure that and is a neutral, has a neutral syntax value. Therefore, it is simply a bridge between knowledge and honor positioned by of the. And now we have our verb is. And now we move on to the possessive and the authority. So with is a possessive uh, positional. So with the claim and statement. Claim and statement are tied together by and, and they've both been positioned by with the. Again, some people like to put a full colon after the and, and then a space, and then statement, in which it would read with the claim and with the statement. And then we move on to the authority, by the writ performance and conveyance. Writ hyphen performance is a compound known, a compound fact, positioned by by the. And is a conjunction, bridge between these two facts. Conveyance is a fact, positioned by this positional and lodial, by the. So by the writ performance and conveyance. Now some people, again like to put 
a colon there, so now it reads by the RIT hyphen performance and by the conveyance, period. So if I read it like this, for the claimant and for the witness of the knowledge and of the honor is with the claim and with the statement by the RIT performance and by the conveyance. Now if I take these out, it still reads correct and it's much simpler. For the claimant and witness of the knowledge and honor is with the claim and statement by the writ hyphen performance and conveyance, period. So that is my closure on the mechanics of the full colon and the conjunction. If you have any questions, as I say in every video and every video description, contact me in the confidential at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. A YouTube's comments field, with my knowledge, is not an efficient place to get closure. As a matter of fact, when I look at other comment sections, it just seems like a place where people go to argue. <laughs> I'm about giving closure and clarity. So please feel free to contact me if your volition is to have the closure and the clarity. Also, you'll feel free to check out the rest of my YouTube channel for other closures on correct sentence structure. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day.